Okay, folks, so we're leaving Party City now. This was a $150 purchase. Now, if memory serves me, I believe I paid $150 out of pocket to have my luggage sent to RuPaul's Drag Race when I competed. They reimbursed me, but needless to say, RuPaul got her money back. You got me, Ru. All right, let's start this video. Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. RuPaul just released a new wig. You heard me right, RuPaul released a wig. <laughs> Exclusively at Party City, we have the RuPaul wig line. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> now I saw some buzz about this happening on Reddit and I knew I had to strike while the iron was hot. So we're gonna try out RuPaul's new wig from Party City. Okay, so now comes time for the unboxing. Now they are very, very secretive about this wig. Like you can't look inside of it. There's no preview or anything. You have to buy it and open it up. And at $50, it's a pretty lofty price. So I'm hoping it's actually really, really good. I've gotten some really good quality costume wigs for relatively around the same price, like around the costume shop here called Bart's that no longer exists. They used to have like Ruby's Costume Company, which made really nice costume wigs. Okay, so this is the box. It looks like a costume wig box. Let's bust open this girl. Dang, they really wanted you to not get up in here. What do you have to hide, Ru? Now I bought three of these wigs. I bought two of the blonde and one of the lavender. So I'll show the lavender off too, just so you see what that looks like. But I'm using the blondes today. Moment of truth. And it is, it's a pretty standard costume wig actually when I look at it. Okay, it's really long, longer than it was in the packaging, okay. Okay, let's place her on the head and take a look at her. Okay, so I have thoughts. Now this is what you call a pre-teased wig. Now you can see there's lots of bunching teasing here and here at the top. So already, it's kind of already elevated in that regard as far as a costume wig goes. This one is already stepping its, you know, up a bit more. Okay, so the shininess of it is partly because it's been pre-hairsprayed and pre-styled and it looks a little shinier, but it does not have the texture of like a costume wig. That is actually a little surprising because Party City, their wigs are freaking terrible. But no, it's got like the full lace wig cap with the ribbons and everything. So it is a wig. And the hair is what you like to call the old school 613 where it looks like platinum white. It doesn't have like that yellowish tone like the newer 613 models do. This would count as sort of like a full wig. Like what you see at like a beauty shop, you can buy a full wig with the hard front that's meant to have like your bangs disguise it. This would be the case. Um, looking at it, it's only teased in two sections. You got the bang section here at the top teased and this side part here. But this side has no teasing whatsoever. But yeah, looking at it, it looks like those beauty shop full wigs that you can buy for like $60, which is like around the same price as this. And this one has a little teasing in it. Yeah, that is the hair and like the texture and the quality of it is like, I'd say a beauty shop quality. Like the kind you get at the beauty supply store, those kind of wigs. It's a wig shop wig, which is kind of what I expected for the price point. It's like, I don't think they could believably sell anything for $50 and have it be any lower than that. But as far as it goes, you're gonna wanna like combine it with a lace front wig or something in order to get more oof or more of a believable hairline. Let's pin it down and we're gonna start styling it and playing around with it. Let's dig through this. There is so much teasing down here. Okay. <sighs> well, the good news is it's already pre-teased somewhat, so I don't have that much work ahead of me. Thankfully, I've worked with this kind of wig before, so I kind of know what I'm getting myself into. So let's just start teasing it. Okay, so looking at this, like, the quality of hair is faring a lot better than I actually thought it would be. Like, when I heard Party City was where this was from, I was thinking, oh my god. I know what Party City wigs are like, and they are terrible. Like, they're super plastic. They don't hold a curl. You can't do much of anything with it. But this is full on like, if you ever worked with Ruby's Costume Company wigs, like the higher end ones, they're like 30 bucks. This is kind of the quality you're getting. And with these kind of wigs, like the hard front costume wigs, the longer they are, the more they tend to be. So for $50, you get what looks to be like 24 inches. That's pretty good. But I don't know, if for those of you who actually did drag in the 90s, let me know if you remember this. There is a wig called the showgirl where it had this like wavy set pattern like the 50s like finger waves it's totally kind of giving me that like look at the back of it it's totally the showgirl right like i can't remember who used to have it i think rubies used to carry that one and you could get it on ebay a lot too back in the 90s i used to love looking at those old wig catalog wigs where you see like those super 90s styled hairstyles you can get like the showgirl or on um, that one that looks like you know and Murray that they call Mad Max, where it's just like the bleach blonde spiky mullet that like every drag queen in the 90s had that wig. All 
All right, re-teasing that front section too. Re-teasing everything. <gasps> All right, I got the front section teased out. I'm gonna do the back off camera and I'll be right back and we'll start our styling. All right, we're back. We just teased it all out and girl, I have to say, I'm gonna put my tinfoil hat on right now. I am convinced that this is that showgirl wig from the 90s. Like, if you remember Vegas wigs, like on eBay, those like huge drag wigs that were there forever, one of the wigs they used to offer was the showgirl wig and that was the base wig they used for all of these wigs. And I'm convinced it is that because it's the same like finger wave pattern and like the same densely packed tracks, like a costume wig. And I swore I bought this wig before. Like I honestly believe I have owned this wig before from a couple of beauty shops because you could buy it for like $50, $60 and it's here. This is the showgirl wig. I am convinced. And you know what? Rue is a showgirl. So you know what? Slay sister. Yeah. Looking at it, what probably will like steer a lot of people off is like the fact that it's not a lace front wig. But I'll defend it in this regard, like with hard front wigs like this, especially, they always were around the same price of $50. Like if you go to a beauty shop to get the same wig or a costume shop, you're gonna end up paying around the same amount. And I feel like they had to up the charge because it's RuPaul after all. And with collaborations, they have to like make the price work to where they both benefit. That's kind of how collaborations work. Okay, looking at this, you can see exposed tracks there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tease it a lot more. I'm gonna tease that down to the root. All right, I'm packing it down to the roots and you'll see right here that the teasing is starting to gather right there. When I go in is later with hairspray, I'm gonna really solid that up with a blow dryer and hairspray and we'll clip a little bit of it there so that it covers it up and creates sort of a phony hairline. Okay, so it's a combination of back and forth teasing. So like after I've packed it down a lot, I'm brushing it both down and up with like applying pressure to the forehead area. And like you're gonna want a wet hairspray for this. And of course, handy dandy blow dryer. And don't worry if there's like little straggly, janky hairs here going down because we're gonna clip those. All we need to do is just make sure it's like a solid combination of teased hair at the root and hairs going back and forth because that's what's going to create the rooted hairline. And this is that old, old school drag queen wig line. You don't really see a whole lot like this anymore unless you buy like wigs from eBay. Some of them may still have them, but most things are all done on lace fronts nowadays because back in the day you didn't have lace fronts. So if you wanted a more realistic hairline, girl, you had to do this. And one thing you don't want to do is use Gatsby glue or anything like that on this. You want to use a wet hairspray and it's the best for this. Because it gets dry enough to where you can use it, like Gatsby glue will get way too sticky. So yeah, like I said before, after we packed all the hair down really, really tightly, it's like the smallest section of hair in the front of the hairline, we brush back and forth one way and then holding that down the other way. All right, that is one hairline down. I'll cut it later when you should do that on camera where I cut it, but I'm gonna do this other one off camera and I'll be right back and we'll do some more styling at the top and back of the hair. Be right back. Alrighty, we are back. I just did the rooted hairline and all around the front of the head. And if you check it out, I'll explain it one more time for you. I took like a small bite of the wig, like almost not even a half inch, like a little bit less than a half inch. And I just teased that all the way down to the base, spray the shit out of it and then you go back and forth until it creates like, you know, it splits the teasing. It's supposed to split like that. Like, you know, Hadouken on the front of the hairline, all around the front of the hairline. That's like the best I can explain it. And you do that from the ear tab to the ear tab. And then we're gonna go through at the very end and cut this in jagged strips so that it creates a hairline. Now, if you did this right, the heat and the hairspray will keep this intact no matter what you do to the top of it. But we're gonna start styling out this and I've re-teased this top section a good three to four times. All right, I styled the front and camera. I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I'll be right back. All right, we have it all styled up and ready to go. All we need to do now is just cut this front section here. All righty, let's start cutting the hairline. Easy, easy. We're gonna take little thin shears like this and just start taking bites out of the front. Start small and work your way towards the top of the hairline. Now 
And as you can see, it looks like a hairline now. And we're gonna keep working that until we get as close to this as possible. Alrighty, this is the final girl. Now it is a bit shiny, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take some dry shampoo and try something out right now. Now I heard this helps dull the shine and this is mattifying dry shampoo, so let's see if it works. Now honestly, if you're wearing hair like this, no one's gonna believe it's your real hair girl. <laughs> but I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, maybe this will help. Now I'm gonna dim the light over here so we can see how it looks. This is how it looks with the lighting dimmed with the mattifying spray on it, the dry shampoo. So that's how it looks. Now, since I bought another one and did not style it, I'm gonna try that one on on its own and then try this one on. All right, this is the wig all styled. What do you guys think? She is sickening, right? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh my God. This is the wig as it comes right out of the box. I bought two of the blonde ones. This is how it looks. and. Admittedly, looking at it, it's it's pretty bad, but like any wig, of course, you need to zhuzh it up a bit before you wear it. That goes for any costume wig. Like this one's obviously been flattened inside of the box, but you look at it like they pre-teased it. If you took another teasing comb to it and just jacked it up a bit more, you get something cute out of it. But I don't know. I like it. Again, it's a costume wig, folks. Work with me here. Now let me try on the wig I styled in three, two, one. All right, this is the final result. You wear it, you wear it, you wear it. All right, I guess. <laughs> I look like a supermodel of the world. <laughs> I'm actually kind of in love with it. It's very much like a showgirl, 1970s, 1980s, super 1980s with this hairline girl <laughs> kind of wig. And I love it. Like as far as like a showgirl drag queen wig goes, it works for that. I'm certain this is the, actually the showgirl wig from like back in like the 90s. <laughs> like I, maybe they found the person that produced them or what because it is legit the same wig, I swear. But that's not a bad thing. I love this wig. Like this is one of those things that has a lot of versatility. It's a really nice wig. Like I have to say for a drag queen wig, it works. And I actually loved it because it gave me the opportunity to teach you guys how to do the rooted hairline. Now this is a skill that's probably not as necessary nowadays, but for those of you who like that old school look, ask your drag mama. I'm sure she knows all about this hairline. All right, and I did try the dry shampoo on. I have to say it did dull the shine a little bit. So holy crap, that actually worked. Now this wig is just missing one more thing. The Jane's Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. <laughs> Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. Ah, now I smell just like cream soda a Midwest morning after. Thanks, Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. And if you made it this far, you're in luck. I have a giveaway I'm going to announce right now. If you want your very own Midwest morning after, comment down below, showgirl, and your Instagram handle. Five days after this video comes out, I will DM you on Instagram. Look for this girl, and I'll get in touch with you on how to get your prize. All right, I'm gonna show you this lavender wig real quick. Okay, this is how it looks. It's how it comes in plastic, obviously. And kind of snug in there like a condom. That's the box, the front and the back are the same. And the sides say RuPaul in the old school RuPaul font. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, lots of hairspray on this girl. Okay, she is bumped. All right, I'm gonna put it on top of the wig head. This is how it looks. Obviously it needs a bit of TLC as well like this wig did. But I have to say like it's the same quality as the other one, the costume wig hair like, you know, a beauty shop wig would have. I'm not exactly sure what kind of style this wig was. I have to like look at it some more, but that's how she looks. This is the lavender one. She's got the pre-tease and I don't know, with a little zhuzhing up, you probably get something really huge out of it. I have to say one of my favorite things is this box. Like look at this box, girl. Rue, you are not wearing that wig. <laughs> that is Photoshop. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, especially like. And if you didn't like this video, be sure and hit the dislike button twice. And until next time, bye! Click here and watch me make a puppet using paper mache. Or see me review Trixie Mattel Cosmetics. Exposed, 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 exposed. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll give away your most secret beauty tip. Psst, everybody, it's Vaseline and Kitty Litter as face scrub.